Hello everyone and welcome to Prophecy Files Briefing. We're glad that you've joined us today and I hope that you'll take time to share this out on your uh, media platform so that others can be able to hear what's happening in our world and what the Bible has to say about it. I can assure you that there are so many things that are taking place. We certainly don't have time to take up every subject, but I want to draw your attention to this particular uh, article that just came out, the rewriting of God's Word in China. China is following the Nazi playbook in its tactics against the church. China has been rewriting uh, the Bible now and doing all kinds of things to force uh, churches, no matter who they are, in China and around any of their providence, uh, to be able to change uh, what the Bible has to say, literally uh, rewriting, rewording the Bible. This comes from an old playbook in 1939 from the Institute for the Study and Eradication of Jewish Influence on Church Life. This was a Nazi theologian by the name of Walter Grudman. Uh, he was tasked with expunging everything that would have to do with Jews or Hebrew texts from the Bible and rewriting it so that it fit the Nazi agenda. Well, obviously you haven't heard about Walter Grugman because he came on the scene and off the scene with his Nazi uh, and uh, Hitler worship, basically from the rewritten Bible that he did and the institute uh, that he was a part of. And that comes from his rewriting of the text uh, to say that Jesus was the descendant of an Assyrian and that Jesus' real father was a Roman soldier and that he was, Jesus was actually an Aryan uh, that would be uh, complimented and of course approved by the Hitler and Nazi regime. This, ladies and gentlemen, in many ways is uh, going across the globe in the rewriting of God's Word or somehow taking away from the text. But the Bible says God's Word will have its pointed uh, purpose. It will be accomplished according to the book of Isaiah that his word will not return void, but that it will accomplish what purpose that he sent it to do. And that is important for us to understand in light of the fact that uh, you may not be feeling like you're affected by this rewriting of God's word, but there are billions in China that are being, by propaganda, uh, brainwashed to believe that somehow that Jesus is not who he says he is. But behind all of that uh, curtain, that bamboo curtain of unbelief and changing it by the CCP and, and putting uh, Mr. Ping's name in the replacement for where God is. You will have no other gods beside Xi Jinping. Uh, the rewriting of all of that is not changing the hearts and lives of those who have found Jesus Christ to be their real Lord and Savior. Uh, behind the bamboo curtain and other locations around the world. My friends, the Word of God will not return void, regardless if Mr. Ping wants to rewrite it or not. God's Word is established, and the Scripture says it is forever settled in heaven. My question is, do you still believe it? In light of all that's taking place around our world, do you still believe that Jesus Christ is the Son of God, born of a virgin, died on the cross for our sins, was buried and rose again on the third day, and is ever living to make intercession for us, and will any moment now return to this earth in triumphant glory to receive the church off of this earth? If you're not ready to meet Jesus Christ, today's the day, and you will know the Word that has the power to set you free. God bless you for joining us today on Prophecy Files Briefing. I want you to make sure you come back. There's more that you need to know about in Bible prophecy, and we're bringing it to you right here on the Prophecy File Briefing. Till the next time, remember Jesus Christ is coming soon.